Well, thank you for joining us in our studio here. Uh, we are excited to kick off this brand new video series. My name is Mike Bloom. I'm with Eagle Force. This is Russ. Uh, Russ, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what this video series is going to be? Okay. What we really wanted to do, Mike, is, is put together a series on the changing standards. And the standards are all changing rather radically. Um, all the standards are ISO based, and the ISO has had gone through a major change. And so AS9100 and NACE 9910, NACE 20 they're all changing. TS16949 is changing, so they're all changing. And what we wanted to do was bring a series of videos describing those changes and how you might address them. That's right. This format is different for us. This is new. Uh, it's the first time we've done something yeah. like this. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about why we're taking this route compared to what we've done in the past? Well, the last time we did this, we sent out a whole series of emails, and um, many of you got those. Or responded and you wanted you wanted to have be on that list so yeah we, we got really good response from that we did and they they were necess necessity of necessity they were they were rather lengthy and so what we really wanted to do was cover the material this time in in video which would be hopefully shorter and more interesting to mm -hmm. our folks so that's what we try to do and our approach was to to address how they might implement the system in a way that makes meets their business needs not just meet the standard, but in a way that actually will help them. Yeah. And we also wanted to talk about not just what the changes are, because everyone's talking about that, but how you might actually do this, how much you meet the change, meet these changes. Yeah, and, and that's important too, because this video series, we, more than anything, we really want to be able to interact with you guys. And yeah. with, with the email exchange, that felt uh, much more like a one-way street as far as communication goes. And so... We want this video series to be, uh, it's an open invitation to get your feedback, to get your input. Yeah, one of the things that we really wanted to address this time, Mike, which we tried to address last time too, but was really not just uh, what the changes of the standard are, but because there are a lot of organizations out there talking about what the changes are. Well, the, what I think you're interested in is knowing how can we address these changes um, in a way that makes our meets our business needs. Yeah, it, uh, with this video series, that's one of the keys to it is implementation. There, with uh, in the standard, there's a thousand different ways to meet the different requirements of the standards. What's most important is what's that look like for you guys. Uh, every organization is unique, and you're going right. to have your own unique questions. We want to hear those questions. We want to address them right yeah. here. We want this to be your show. We want to hear from you. And what you're going to find out is that. The standard is, is descriptive, not prescriptive. The standard tells you here's what you must do, but not how to do it. So what we want to talk about is, of course, what, what are the new what you must do, but we also want to make some suggestions on how, how to do it. That And again, it has to meet your business needs. So Mike, how, how might they contact us if they wanted to? Yeah, if you want to reach out to us, uh, you can do it through our website. You can do it through uh, email. Smoke signals? Smoke signals would be great. Uh, yeah, any way that you can, reach out to us. Let us know what you want to hear, what we can address for you guys. And uh, yeah, these will be coming out once a week. They're going to be short and bite-sized. They're going to be potent. And we're looking forward to getting this thing going. So Next time, what we're going to talk about is the why the standards are changing. And then we'll start getting into actual some of the changes that are some of the there. Meat. And then we'll get into it. So welcome and uh, invite you to be part of this. And... I hope you find it interesting. We will see you in a week.